Well, here we have a Formula E, our Formula E car a steering wheel. Obviously, I will go through just very quickly. It's heavily complicated because there's, there's uh, as in this championship, there's no telemetry. Uh, basically, the driver has to do everything himself to manage the energy, the driving, and, uh, and, on, and all the mapping that uh, you need to or you, you can change. So basically, the usual radio button, the usual uh, speed limiter, brake balance adjuster, different diff maps here on the rotary, and then different uh, different uh, free practice or qualifying uh, maps for the for the power usage of the engine. So basically, for quality lap, you would go to 250 kilowatt, and uh, and for a race lap, you you would go to a 200. Uh, what is very interesting of a Formula E car is more than the more than the, the side view, this uh, this side uh, front view of the of the steering is the, the the bottom, you know, the the paddles that you you have on the underneath uh, the front view, which is basically the most important paddles in a Formula E car are these two, which is basically the the regen paddles. What does regen paddles mean? Well, when a Formula E driver gets into the uh, braking area, before braking, you pull this paddle to free up the car. So basically you are selecting neutral, like kind of. So there's no resistance and there's no energy consumption. The car is rolling fast, no brakes. The driver is still not braking. While you you release this paddle, you press the, the, the second paddle to regen. So at the moment you pull this paddle, you're actually charging the battery uh, and actually uh, generating energy through the rear axle. This is very important because the, the, the corner is, is coming closer to you, the driver is regenerating the battery, is uh, recharging the battery, and this is very important to actually be able to push harder the next, next laps. And whenever you know, you're know co close to the apex, you realize, I need to brake, otherwise I will go straight. You release this paddle and you hit the brakes as hard as you can. So this is basically what all drivers do on a braking zone to regen the, the, the battery as much as you can. It's a very difficult technique because it's not that easy to actually uh, be on a braking zone at top speed and uh, playing the piano, you know, like with one paddle and the other. But actually the best drivers are the guys that manage this technique in the best possible way. It's very important to manage energy and manage ener managing energy with a car with no telemetry means also that you have to pay a close attention to the display because in this display, it will give the driver what uh, the, the, the battery state of charge. And this number is very important for your race engineer that needs to know. There's no telemetry, so only the driver can tell him. And actually, after every lap, the driver must inform his race engineer of how much battery is left. All these around walls in a very tight track and with guys behind or in front in having a fight, is a very difficult, difficult thing to do.